information in the way of jobs about a story we've been following for months now. Cumberland County leaders say Project Aero plans to hire a lot more people than initially planned. The high tech titanium manufacturing company wants to hire 450 people. WRAL's Gilbert Bays talked with county leaders who say the push is on to bring high tech jobs with good pay to that area. Well, they call this field here at the end of Bethune Drive One Tree Hill because that tree that's out there in the middle of the field. But once that tree is knocked down and this gate is open, a new titanium plant is coming to Cumberland County. The face of Fayetteville in Cumberland County is changing. The town hit a home run years ago with the opening of Segra Stadium in downtown Fayetteville, home of the Woodpeckers. In June, hiring started at the Amazon Fulfillment Center just outside Fort Liberty. The city plans to extend bus service to help residents get to those jobs. And now Project Aero plans to build a 500,000 square foot titanium manufacturing plant near Goodyear Tires. You know, I tell everybody that Cumberland County and Fayetteville is the gateway to southeastern North Carolina. This is it. When you get here, you see what's happening and what the transformation that has happened in the last few years. County leaders say Project Arrow is the kind of company this area needs. I think that's absolutely right. This is a great type of project for the workforce we have and also for where we want to move in advancing our overall innovation-based economy here. The big concern for this community is the environmental impact. Have we vetted this company to make sure it's safe? This project will be utilizing PWC's sewer system, so all their cooling water will go directly into the sewer plant and be monitored at stages throughout. Because of Fort Liberty, the Fayetteville Cumberland County area is a melting pot of people from all over the world, kind of like Washington, D.C., and the workforce reflects it. Uh, this is just not a bedroom community. This is a community that exists and is ready to take its step forward. So right now, this is just a field, but county leaders say it's the future that shows Cumberland County is open for high-tech business. In Cumberland County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. And we're told the company investment will grow to $1 billion. The project should be completed in early 2027.